Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX here, and basically I've just created I'm creating a standalone how to transform your Yamato 160 scale Valkyrie, aka variable fighter. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna leave the review and the commentary out and just kind of show you how to do it. So if you just got yours and you're looking to transform, then this is the video for you. All right, first things first, I want to release the tension that holds the backpack. Basically, there are clips on inside of the legs that go into little peg holes there. While there, you're going to want to do that. Get that out of the way. And basically, there's just a peg there and a peg there that's inside the leg holding it in. Just going to release that. That's pretty much it. Uh, since we're going to gear walk mode, I'll show you now. The leg does pull out just a bit. Help give it a little more flexibility. And while we're there, we're going to pull the feet out. The feet do have three positions. So if you want to pull it out all the way, and you've got a stand, you can get the foot out a little further. But we're just going to go with the standard depth for right now. arms are basically held in by a groove there. Kind of pull those out a little bit. It's normal. Gun pod's being held in there by tension, so when you release it, it's all going to fall out. And basically, this is very similar to just about every release ever. Something you might want to be careful, though, of is this plastic piece right in there. Some folks have reported breakage. So you want to be careful. Basically, there is a little lip here that you want to pick this up and get it over and push it till it clicks again. Um, if you're careful and mindful, I don't think breakage should be an issue for you. And then just go ahead and get your backpack down. It does stick a little bit there, so make sure you're... Voila. And, of course, the hands just flip out. This little hatch that opens. And there. Voila. Pretty much Garewalk mode. Alright, Batroid mode. So, basically... You're going to flip this over. This is some of that fine Yamato engineering. Actually, before I proceed, I'm going to put the uh, vent covers in now. And those just clip in. Voila. While we're here, basically there is a peg on the very top here pointing in, and there is a peg pointing out that way. So you want to push inward. It's going to make this peg pop out and that peg come out, and then it should move. Same thing on this side. Now, here is the one downside to the VF1A design, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. The way the head's designed, the back of the head kind of covers the swing bar, so it's almost impossible to pull that out without popping the head off. Fear not, the head is designed to come off, so I'm just going to take that out of there for now so you can see what's going on. And basically, that's it. Two little clips there, hold that swing bar there. And I'm just going to straighten the legs back out. Alright, let me get the backpack out of the way a little bit. And that just bends down. It, it, don't worry, you're not going to break it. And basically that's going to free that up if you've ever owned any previous releases. The hinging here is all very similar than to the different makers and models. And you want to make sure to... Actually, before I do this, I do want to show. This part right here is die-cast metal. You do need to push that down a little bit. Do yourself a favor and do that before you get this more into a more complete Batroid mode. Otherwise, you stand the 
chance of breaking your heat shield when you force that part down. So that just slides out, sits right there, kind of it's on a runners and it kind of snaps into place. I'm just going to leave the heat shield there for right now. And then here's the other tricky part. This is the part that gets a lot of folks kind of confused. These there's there's basically this nose cone piece flips up. There are two little divots here and there are pegs that kind of flip out and fill the gap when you're in jet mode. So you just want to make sure those are flipped down. And basically I'm just going to straighten the legs out. And at this point you're basically just going to bring this around. Now here's where it's a little different from the 148. Basically you would rest this in here and the door would close around it. This time it's sort of a clip and you've got to kind of slide that in there and then pull it down. Snap it shut. At which point you can then push the chest closer together. Get your legs in, flip your wings down. Let me get the... Now the chest plate, there are two little pegs here and here and they do kind of fit under the fuselage. And that's it. They just sit right there. Now like I said, on my 1S I was able to keep the head on during the transformation, but because the way that 1A head is designed, I've taken it off. So I'm going to move this up here. I want you to see this. So this is still how the neck piece would be if you were in jet mode. Rotate the neck down just a little bit. And basically, this does flip down, making the head and the neck flush. So, granted I cheated, your mileage may vary, you may be patient enough to try and transform that with the head on, but for simplicity's sake, I just wanted to show that. The other thing you want to do is you're going to want to push the legs back up. Helps create that nice lean look. And there you go. That's how you transform all three modes. Oopsie, almost forgot. There was one more piece. There is a hook here in the backpack. I keep forgetting about this on video for some reason. Basically, if you had a 148, this hatch pushes in about a quarter of an inch. Bring the hook up. You're going to want to squeeze slightly gently so the hook can reach over that, and then voila, it will stay. And then flip your vent back down. And while that's everything, I did want to show you something. When you're transforming it back, getting it out of bat ride, there is a particular step that seems to be giving some collectors some difficulty, so I want to save you that trouble. So first things first, undo the backpack. Then you want to pull the back plate away from the body just a little bit. Basically, folks are having a real hard time getting the swing bar out. Now, on the VF1S, this part, which does rotate, is really stiff. On the 1A, it was a lot better, so that's part of why I'm using the 1A for this transformation. Basically, you're going to hold the nose cone here. And you're just going to rotate the legs out, and it should very gently release. There you go. And then from there, pretty much reverse the steps I showed you, and you'll be all set. So till next time, I'm Adam.